soul. Soul is the fundamental source entity for the amazing creation of all kinds of life forms on this earth. And the evolvement of the human race is the perennial point of this creation. Humans are differentiated from other living creatures on the basis of attributes like mind, conscience and body. Man is deeply in love with this body. But it needs to be realized that the body is a temporary arrangement within the limits of time and space. The human body is liable to perish. This can be reiterated with the fact that the end of a life journey ultimately results in deletion of a person's name even from the documents of property and possessions. But the value of the body is irrelevant once it is deserted by the soul. Then who is the owner of this life? Who monitors the universe where this life is lived? The universe is governed by the soul. Till the time the human body is occupied by the soul, it boasts of the ownership of the life system. Even then, throughout his lifetime, man is obsessed by the body and in the process subjects the soul to oblivion. The outer body is ephemeral, but soul is immortal. Self principles have been in existence since eternal times and it will remain so till eternity. What is a soul? Where does it exist? Soul is something that resides in every living being. It is something that encompasses the entire universe. The gods of gods is soul. Everything is governed by the soul. And the energy concentrated in the human heart is nothing but the soul. Every person is born with an inner strength, an inner energy. This power, this energy is the reflection of the soul. We progress in life deriving strength from our inner self. The journey begins with infancy and is continued till the time we understand the intricacies of survival in this world. But the practicalities of life not only take us away from our own selves, but also creates a distance with fellow human beings. Man is flattered by the technology revolution of modern times to such an extent that he doesn't even realize the ensuing lack of dialogue with his family, friends and neighbors. Person-to-person -person physical dialogue is turning into a rare commodity. In fact, man is unable to strike a conversation with his own self. Turning into a recluse, he fails to realize what it exactly means to have a dialogue with the inner self. Human lifestyle is bound to change according to progressing times. But when this very lifestyle assumes to defeat the basic principles of life, it directly or indirectly affects us, our relations and eventually the social health in totality. This self-triggered competition of life gives birth to emotions like lust, anger, greediness, jealousy, hatred and envy. The fictional world of modern man has given birth to bifurcating concepts like caste, 
creed and religion. He started to visit religious abodes in search of the Almighty, who is primarily residing in his very heart. But how could a person with a disturbed mind and senses find his God when he could not find his peace of mind? The radical question then, have we really upgraded our standard of living? In ancient times, the absence of advanced technology was irrelevant to happiness as man was satisfied at heart because connection with the soul was considered to be the measure of happiness. Examples of a larger human lifespan in the absence of modern stress and pressures are found in the Holy Scriptures. As a result of meditation, the sages and monks of the ancient ages would be in touch with each other in spite of being at far distant places. They would turn the impossible into possible on the basis of confidence gained by meditation. The age-old Gurukul learning system would successfully pass the baton of such education from one generation to the other. Today, this is possible under the guidance of Om Vishwatmak Gurudev. Many a times it happens that just when we think about making a phone call to a particular person, that very same person surprises us by calling at that very moment. We think about a certain person and we have the person in front of us. Is this coincidence? This phenomenon is termed as telepathy in the modern age. The fundamental principle for such situations is willpower. Willpower is built on the foundation of strong confidence and the soul is continuously engaged in the process of boosting confidence. What is confidence? Each one of us is eager to visit an astrologer to learn about the future. The curiosity to know the future drives us to trust the unpredictability of a caged parrot but in the process refuse to hear our inner voice in order to fulfill the responsibility on hand. This is an excellent example of distrusting the soul. The absence of self-confidence leads to the path of superstitions and blind beliefs. The unlimited source of energy stored in the human heart in the form of the soul if brought into use, gives rise to self-confidence. This could be understood if we have a look at the lives of a few men who were born as commoners but went on to achieve great heights in life. Is this possible for us? Yes, this is possible for everybody. Each one of us is blessed with an inner strength to achieve such pomp and success. Each heart is an ocean of boundless knowledge. This wealth of knowledge is known as wordless knowledge. We keep struggling to acquire knowledge that is required to survive in the practical world. But this knowledge is just a fraction of the limitless knowledge enclosed within us. The simplest and the easiest manner to achieve this global knowledge is Meditation The soul represents the firm roots of our life tree. The flower, fruits, leaves, branches of this tree are synonymous to our parents, friend circle and neighbors. To maintain the health and prosperity of this tree, it is essential to water the roots, which suggests that our blending with the soul is imperative for the well-being of all concerned members within our circle of relations.
But this requires correct advice and guidance. A person who would lead us to the path of virtue, the Sadguru. The path of conquering your own self is rendered effortlessly, yet swiftly, in the company of the Sadguru. The influence of the Guru is shaping the idol within you. The God within a sculptor is obliged by carving a God out of stone. Soul is the only existing truth in this world. Soul is infinite. Neither does it have a beginning nor an end. In order to find solution to our problems, in our quest to achieve success, we keep running and stumbling in every possible direction. We adopt many means and methods to reach the Almighty. But the real Him resides within us and that is the Soul. The simplest way to reach Him is serving your own Self. Self-serving is the clue to find answers to all our questions. All the saints and ascetics known to mankind were born as humans but attained sainthood on the basis of self-concurrence. Allot yourself some quality time. Balance your mind. Meditation allows you to obtain deep concentration, a steady mind, capacity to take correct decisions in difficult times, freedom from emotions like lust, anger, greediness, jealousy, hatred and envy. The capacity to strike a conversation with one another in the absence of words and achievements on the base of strong willpower. All of this can be achieved by meditation. Self-probing is the stepping stone to success. Peep into your own self. Meditate. Embrace spiritualism. Serve the soul. Stepping in this direction of attaining cosmic knowledge carved out by Vishwatma Gurudev will lead us to the inner soul. Soul is the master of the universe. Soul is the god of gods. Oh.